Prasad from HQ is able to access web server 2 but Gaurav who is also from HQ is not able to access web server 2. Also branch office users are not able to access web server 2. Hi guys this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff and as a network engineer in this video we will try to solve the issue. So guys this is web server 2. Uh, which is having IP address of 20.1.1.100 and this is Gaurav okay so who is having some uh, problem while accessing this particular uh, server whereas this is Prasad and this is the uh, branch office and you can see that this particular section you know this particular section is for HQ so this is my uh, you can see this is the HQ part and this is the branch office part. So Gaurav is not able to access this particular server, but Prasad is able to access. So let's check how it is happening and whether really Gaurav is not able to access the uh, the web server too. So what I'm going to do is I'll just open uh, Gaurav's uh, PC and this is Gaurav's PC. So I'll go into the web browser and I'll check uh, whether I'm able to access HTTP 20.1.1.100. So this is the IP address of web server 2 and I'm trying to click here and go but not able to access I think so yes. I'll take uh, Prasad's PC and check whether he's able to access so I'll go into HTTP. So this is Prasad's PC 1.100 and you can see here that I'm able to access from Prasad's PC uh, the web server 2 but we tried it from Gaurav's PC and we are not able to access actually timeout is coming over here. Even if I go in the command prompt and I'll try to ping it 20.1.1.100 and you can see that you know it is not reachable i'm getting the reply from 10.1.1.1 that it is not reachable the destination is unreachable so this is this is the problem and another problem that the branch users i'll just take one of the pc of the branch and i'll also try to access from branch http 20.1.1.100 uh, let me check from here from here also guys I'm not able to access uh, also let me try whether I'm able to ping from here from the branch PC 20.1.1.100 again here also I'm not able to uh, ping but from Prasad's PC it is working this was Prasad's PC and it is it was working fine even if you can check here if I go into the command prompt from Prasad PC and try to ping 20.1.1.100 I am able to ping so there's some issue some issue for certain uh, PCs or uh, but there's no issue with the web server because on the web server we are able to access the service is running fine if there was issue on the web server uh, then even Prasad would be able to access the services from the web server too. So uh, let's try to uh, figure it out that, that why the communication is not happening. Now uh, here you can see in this particular uh, uh, diagram, network diagram that uh, the, the, the one which I have mentioned here in yellow color. Okay, These are the part of VLAN 10. Now Gaurav is Gaurav and the web server these are part of VLAN 10 I've mentioned here also that there are two VLANs VLAN 10 which is having the default gateway 10.1.1.1 slash 24 and now the default gateway is going to be this HQ router okay and because this is the router which is you can see uh, ROS router that is a router on stick uh, so this is the router on stick which is having an IP address of 10.1.1.1 for sub interface and uh, you can see the one which are in the green that is Prasad and the web server they are in the same VLAN that is VLAN 20. So when Prasad is trying to communicate with web server it is able to communicate that is 
communication uh, within VLAN is happening. But when Gaurav is trying, who is the member of VLAN 10 and trying to access the web server which is in VLAN 20, the communication is not happening. That is the communication between VLAN, that is inter-VLAN communication is not happening. Let's, let's check from uh, Gaurav's PC that whether he is able to access web server 1. So what I'll do is I'll just try to ping uh, 10.1.1.100. Yes. So Gaurav is able to ping a server, web server 1, which is in the same VLAN. So some issue with uh, inter-VLAN communication, that is communication between uh, between VLANs. So here, what we can do is we can better troubleshoot at this point, which is on this particular router that is router on stick so let's let's check what is wrong with this particular router so i'll just log into this router just delete this and uh, let me take so this is my router i'll just maximize a bit so this is my HQ router and uh, in this HQ router, I need to check some, some configurational stuff now. So this is the interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0, which is getting connected to this LAN site. So let me check the configuration for that particular interface. So this is the configuration. Okay. So this is the configuration, which is coming out gig 0 slash 0 slash 0, which is getting connected to the edge switch. So that is correct. This is the edge switch guys. Yeah, this is the edge switch and it have uh, we have configured two sub interfaces because we have two uh, VLANs over here. So you can see that there's a configuration for interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 dot 10. This is for VLAN 10. I can see at the configuration that encapsulation is dot 1Q for VLAN 10 and the default gateway or the gateway for VLAN 10 will be this this particular IP that is 10.1.1.1 slash 24. But you can see guys, there's some configurational missing configuration missing in this particular sub interface that is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 dot 20. So let's do the configurational part for this. So what configuration we need to do is I'll just go into the configuration mode gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 slash 0 dot 20. We have to define some encapsulation. Let's say we defined as dot one q and we have to define the VLAN. So here the VLAN is 20. So this is the one thing which we need to mention. The other thing you can see over here also um, the IP address we need to mention. So let's mention the IP address. Now here the default gateway guys, you can see over here also that I've mentioned it over here also. The default gateway will be 20.1.1.1 slash 24. So I'll mention the default gateway over here. IP address uh, 20.1.1.1 slash 24 is 255.255.255.0. So this is this is what configuration we did. Now let me check. I'll just see if the configuration. Now I'll check on Gaurav's PC that I'm whether I'm able to ping it or not. Let me check. I should be able to ping 20.1.1.100. So guys, let's ping. This is the time to test now. And it will get ping mostly. I think so. Oh my God. Uh, still request timeout is coming. Let's wait for the second or third packet because most of time, you know, I hope we, get, we do get RTOs request timeout. So let's wait for some time. I think so guys we have made oh my god still mm -hmm. no so guys there's some issue there's some issue we uh we have to check more things one thing we identified that that this is the thing uh where we have made changes in the uh, router on stick router this is the hq router now in troubleshooting there guys that for one issue there will be multiple solutions you know one solution we have done one step we have taken but maybe there's some other issue as well so let's check what exactly is missing now we have checked this router now the one thing what we can check is uh, maybe this access switches 
and both of these access switches maybe this particular access switches because gaurav and web server uh, you can see here the gaurav and web server both are getting connected to this particular access switch so what i'll do is i'll check this particular access switch first of all okay so let me check that because this is the access switch so let me check what all things i can check the very first thing i need to check whether vlans are configured or not this is a very important thing so on switch 2 there should be two vlans configured vlan 10 and vlan 20 so yes guys vlan 10 and vlan 20 so these are the two vlans which are configured i'll just keep over here okay so these are the two vlans which are configured vlan 10 and vlan 20 and you can see vlan 10 is member of uh sorry fast ethernet 0 slash 4 is member of vlan 10 so this is fast ethernet 4 0 slash 4 which is member of vlan 10 that is cover of pc that is correct and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and 0 slash 3 are the member of vlan 20 that is fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is million of member 20 and fast ethernet 0 slash 3 is member of vlan 20 so that is fine that looks fine there's no issue with uh with this particular switch you know this is what i have concluded now so this is how we can check now let's check some other switches also because there are more two switches so let's check those as well just clear the screen and uh, let's check this edge switches because the communication between vlan is going to happen from this router because whenever the packet is going to get initiated from Gaura, whenever you're going to ping uh, whenever you're going to access or ping 20.1.1.100 what this is going to do is from Gavro's PC the packet is going to go to this switch from here it is going to go till the edge switch it will go to the router since it is belong to a different VLAN right so from router again it is going to get routed because it's communication between VLAN then it is going to come back again to the switch and then to the web server so this is how the communication is going to happen right so this is a, this, this is a direction of the communication now now in this communication we have checked this router we have checked this switch access switch 2 but we haven't yet checked edge switches so let's check edge switch as well so this is my edge switch and let me check few things over here so what all things we can check is we'll first check the vlan information so show vlan okay so guys here we can see that here we can see guys that only vlan 10 is there there is no vlan 20 so vlan 20 is missing over here so what i'll do is i'll create vlan 20 on this switch but before that what i'll do is meanwhile I'll also open Gavrov's PC over here. Okay, this is Gavrov's PC, and we were trying to figure out uh, this ping, right? So this is not taking. Okay, this ping is not working, right? So let's let's create VLAN 20. So I'll just go into configuration mode and just create VLAN 20. Okay, it is not pingable, right? It is not pingable. I'm just creating VLAN 20 here. Just created VLAN 20. And uh, let's see now whether we are able to ping because VLAN 20 was missing on HQ edge switch. So we created that. But still you can see it is not reachable let's ping again 20.1.1.100 and you can see still we are getting timeout so there's some more issue so let's try to figure it out that whether there is some more issue or not so let's check whether vlan 20 is formed or not here so what i'll do is show vlan brief you can see vlan 20 is now formed over here yeah guys it took some time yeah now we are getting the reward it took some time so now we are able to ping 20.1.1.100 from Gavrov's pc uh, let me just go on the web browser here 
and let me check 20.1.1.100 and yes guys i'm able to access the web page as well so so this was the issue there was we identified two issues primarily that uh, here the the, the configuration related to the sub interface for VLAN 20 was missing, encapsulation was missing, IP address was missing, and here the second issue we we identified that VLAN 20 was missing. So these are two things we tried and uh, we solved this problem. So we have solved one problem. The other problem is also there uh, that branch office users were also not able to access. So let's check for branch branch users now. So this is this is the branch user. I'll go into the uh, branch uh, users pc so this is my branch user pc I, earlier i was not able to uh, ping 20.1.1.100 uh, now i'll check whether i'm able to ping it or not I'll just click on here up arrow and yes i guys you can see that i am able to ping from branch pc now let me check let me check that whether i'm able to access from web server or not so i'll go on this web server http hyphen 20.1.1.100 you can see guys there there is a twist we are not able to access 20.1.1.100 from branch pc that is see it is coming rto but we were able to ping it so earlier we were even not able to ping at least now we are able to ping but but the web web page is not accessible for Gaurav, the web page is accessible, pingable and accessible for the web server 2. But for the branch users, the web page for server 2 is not accessible. Because for branch 2, we are, it is pingable, right? When I'm giving ping from branch 2, it is going, uh, it will be going through this path, like this, till here. The ping response is also coming. Okay, the ICMP response, uh, the echo reply is also coming. That is that is that is working fine, but I'm not able to access web server. So what will be the issue? So what I'll do is I'll uh, troubleshoot this in the next video. Uh, that uh, and uh, try to figure out what exactly is happening. We are we earlier we were not able to ping. Now we are able to ping, but we are not able to access the web page. So let's troubleshoot in the next video. Uh, I'll catch up you guys in the next video and uh, if you want this uh, this particular uh, packet tracer lab you can uh, you can write me on my email address I can I can mail you this particular uh, troubleshooting lab I'll give my uh, mail address as well my mail address I'll give in the description section even if you want I'll just I'll just write down over here the mail address my mail address amar dot tech stuff at the rate gmail.com even if you can try me to find on insta id you can uh, dm me there also that is amar.techstuff on insta I'll, I'll send you this particular uh, lab for practice so i'll end up this video in the next video we are going to troubleshoot for the branches users they're able to ping but not able to access the web server too so thanks for watching guys catch up in the next video till then bye thanks and have a nice day